another important uh, topic today i'm going to discuss about is uh, memory leaks actually uh, let's see some basic examples of memory leak and uh, how to find that memory leak and let's uh, find the way of fixing it so before that let me introduce myself i am kandav vikraj i am uh, working as a front end developer at zoho uh, so you can find me at uh, qv underscore raj on twitter and uh, kandav vikraj on github uh, so how many of you face this actually well um, by fixing on bug for uh, bug fix and uh, uh, start uh, and started fixing an another launch fix uh, and so on and finally application will be dead <laughs> so i i have faced this uh, recently but uh, actually now we are going to fix some fixes but not mean for uh, bugs but for performance and uh, some fastener wraps so let's take example of uh, this uh in javascript not only in javascript in any software language uh, we have a memory allocation system for every uh, function or object or a string uh, we have allocated some memory uh, we have to manually uh, um, sorry not manually uh, we have to uh, automatically remove that uh, references from that uh, memory so that uh, um, a software language can uh, remove that memory from uh, memory uh, so for uh, for javascript Uh, we have a object memory graph uh, which has the uh, graph which should have all the functions and the variables associated with it so you can see that uh, uh, yellow shaded value uh, if this value has uh, reference in that function but that uh, very uh, value doesn't need any more in the application uh, so uh, it's a memory leak uh, also you can see that red shaded uh, uh, square uh, it has no reference to the root of the graph so it will be automatically collected by garbage collector so garbage collector is a javascript memory management system it will automatically remove the memory allocated to the uh, variables or strings so this function and value uh, will be uh, automatically collected by garbage collector um, but uh, the value uh, in the yellow shaded uh, rectangle will not be collected by garbage collector because it has some reference to the function um, so how to find leaks first uh, uh well, let's see how to find the leaks uh, we have we have chrome browser so chrome has some nice features for finding that memory leaks uh, first of all uh, uh, open a chrome uh, chrome task manager uh, it will uh, show all the tabs uh, which has some js heap size or memory uh, cpu uh, all the all those details uh, uh, course, watch it carefully uh, your js heap size will keep on increasing uh, in some ra- random amount of time so if the memory is keep on increasing then you can suspect that your app has some memory leaks so if you then you can confirm that later by taking some heap snapshots or allocation timeline in uh, uh, chrome dev tools uh, memory tab so let's take a uh, detail in about heap snapshot so this is example of one heap snapshot taken for our app application so it has three columns uh, so this is the distance column uh, distance column is for uh, uh, the graph uh, and that uh, particular node that particular node has uh, uh, how much distance from the root uh, and the shallow size is for the whole object how how much memory that object allocated uh, by the shallow size uh, sorry uh, and then uh, the retain size retain size is the size will be, will be freed up after after the garbage collector collected that value so this is the example of uh, heap snapshot Uh, and then another one is a record allocation timeline allocation timeline will record the in record the your application actions and how much memory allocated in that time you can see that uh, blue lines so blue lines is mean for how much how memory is allocated in that uh, particular uh, by while doing that performing actions so this is a two examples of heap snapshot and allocation timeline so if you see the memory is allocated continuously in the blue line blue line gets increased there. so you can say, confirm that you have our app has some memory leaks so let's take example of some basic memory leak first of all uh, we are using set time out and set interval function so in that uh, in that callback function i have a ma- reference for this variable and you have used in that uh, uh, anonymous function so while using anonymous function like this Uh, or set time out like this we we if we call that uh, anonymous function sorry, set time out function we have to manually clear it uh, before uh, without setting without 
sorry uh, we have to manually clear it then only reference will be destroyed otherwise uh, you, even after i set the my object equal to null the timer will be automatically running because the reference of the, this variable will be kept in that anonymous function so we have to manually clear it before uh, we have if you want to stop it so this is the fix this is the basic memory leak of the set time mode and center error function uh, and then another one memory leak is accidental global wares so uh, in that function i have used my where but i don't use any let or where relations so this will become a global variable but then this my variable will be accessible by the whole applications so we have to use uh, use stick directive so if you use use, uh, use stick directive then you have to declare a variable using let or key where keyword so this will throw an error so let's take uh, examples uh, in our ember applications so how we can find the ember applications memory leak um, by using uh, either test or you can find by using uh, snapshots within uh, snapshots for different uh, pay, routes or pages so first uh, for test we cannot use acceptance test we can use integration or uh, unit test uh, for finding the memory leaks uh, first of all first the prototype uh, leaks so prototype leaks uh, as wasanth kumar said and uh, varun said we have to set uh, all the properties in the uh, init function without set, without uh, using it in the prototype leaks so let's see how to find that uh, prototype leaks so i have run the uh, i have used uh, underscore data variable in uh, shared storage service so uh, i have run a unit test for that so let's take a sna sna snapshot for that so in ember uh, everything is wrapped in a class called container so if you search uh, if you search for the container in that uh, uh, snapshot uh, you can find that there is a container in that uh, 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 snapshot so if you suspect if you can see the container then you can see the our ember app has some memory leaks so let's take a deep look uh, so the container has some so underscore data variable in uh, in a snapshot you can is it visible this is here underscore data it is visible right uh, so this underscore data is a memory leak so let's fix that uh, fix that by using initi initiate method so let's take another snapshot now search for container still there because of some another memory leak so now you can see there is underscore data method uh here in, the, in this container also so uh, this is how prototype memory reference leak uh, uh, fixes so we have to manually uh, initiate it without uh, directly setting into the prototype leak so this is one of the memory um, leak ember memory leak and uh, let's see another one example callback leads so callback leads so here So here I have set a event listener for scroll, uh, but I have used this variable inside here. This will be converted into this code like this. So this underscore this will be converted to underscore this local variable. So uh, I haven't removed that event listener uh, in my code. So this variable will be this is nothing but a component, uh, list item component. So this will be uh, alive unless otherwise uh, this tab is alive or this con uh, this tab is alive. So we have to manually remove the listeners. We have to uh, um, remove all the event listeners or set time mode manually. The uh, browser will not do that. So we have to manually remove it. So this is a fix for uh, callback leads. Uh, in our application, we are using uh, uh, Bootstrap for uh, Bootstrap for uh, uh, styling and uh, uh, styling. So we have used some uh, Bootstrap.js. So if we use some tabs for uh, tabs in Bootstrap, uh, there is a memory leak in Bootstrap.js. So let's take an example for that also. So here I am using a tabs. So if I go to the tab out route, the tab will be gone. But if you record the heap snapshot and search for the tab element, it will be still there in the DOM. You can see that tab underscore content so this will be still there uh, so uh, you have to remove the tab content or uh, uh, tab content with, uh, 
div from the DOM because okay, so bootstrap does and this doesn't do that. So we are using uh, on wrapper component. We wrapped that uh, tab, tabs inside a component and in that will destroy hook, uh, we remove ma manually remove that uh, tabs. So if I save it and run, and let's take another snapshot. Before that, we are going to root and I take about root and I take uh, another snapshot. Now search for desert on. Now you can see there is no tab content. So this is how you fix the bootstrap memory leaks. So you can find that uh, attached a DOM in the and the heap snapshot uh, and find the leaky element or uh, any elements uh, that uh, that are still present in the DOM and use some village toy hook or uh, some and then any other hook to destroy it. So some of the basic uh, another examples of bootstraps are tool tips and date picker. Similarly, tool tips also will not uh, uh, DOM element will not be removed uh, after tool tips shown. So date picker also. Uh, uh, Roger Seger some has some uh, code mods to fix the prototype leaks and the callback leaks. So you can use that code mods leak like uh, this one. Ember Ember leak code mod and prototype leak. It will all the it will fix all the prototype reference and callback leaks. Uh, so these are the, some of the references I have made for this presentation. Thank you. Uh, any questions? So uh, you were saying about the prototype leaks, right? Uh, we should not be uh, assigning any non-primitive values to that. So what is the level of impact on that leak? I mean, is it really going to be a major impact where it's going to freeze the page or? The data will be still available in the all pages still. So the unwanted data will be present in the all pages, all roads or something. So if I set the components, uh, if I set the component uh, prototype uh, Variable, it will the, the data will be still present if I move to some route, another route where that the component will not be rendered. So the still uh, the element will be there. Uh, even though, if, say, it's uh, not a major uh, leak, uh, but uh, the variable and the value will be still there in the memory. Yeah. So regarding this uh, prototype leak, uh, it may look simple, but when you are sharing the object references between components, so it may be mutating the existing component. If you take a classical example of a class and a prototype chain reference, so when you are instantiating new objects with a class, so if you map to a prototype chain, when you instantiate a new class, the object will be shared across the class. So if you change a one pro property in a single instance, it will reflect in another instance. So that's the kind of impact because Ember component, they return, they mostly abstracted away our uh, real JavaScript classes. If you move on to Octane, they will be re using the real components, right? real JavaScript. So that you will be seeing a huge impact. My code has memory leaks, but still I've never faced any issue with the performance. I mean, I'm talking with, uh, in terms of performance, I don't see any, uh, uh, difference in terms of the performance, even though I have a memory leak. So I just wanted to like ask whether is it going to be a major uh, I mean, impact or a bottleneck? Okay, so regarding the impact question, uh, memory leaks, uh, you know, it depends on the scale of your uh, application and the number of components the memory leaks are present. Okay, so it magnifies with the uh, number of lines of code or number of components of your application. So at, uh, you know, uh, uh, very high level, you don't see any perceived uh, performance uh, degradation when your app is having memory leaks until and unless you br use browser something like Safari, which is prone for, you know, having a lot of memory leaks in uh, normal JavaScript applications. So you should check with your application in Safari, I should say. If you really want to have get the impact or stand of memory leaks, yes, I'll, and also adding multiple tabs of the same application, also you'll get to know the degradation, I guess. Yeah. 